the first of several musket volleys erupts from Garnett's Confederates. The musket fire soon becomes one continuous roar, like a never-ending peal of thunder. The Federals continue to advance despite the storm of lead, pausing briefly at the tree line before closing with the enemy. Soldiers swing their rifles like clubs and thrust at each other with bayonets. Although the Confederates occupy what appears to be a strong position along a fence line, the Union soldiers finally prevail in the bloody melee. Crawford's brigade has the good fortune of finding the Confederate left flank in the air. The Stonewall brigade is farther to the left, but it has not yet advanced to the wheat field. Worse yet, two of Garnett's regiments are not even facing in the direction of the attack. The 1st Virginia Irish Battalion of Garnett's brigade reacts to the Federal attack like a man bitten by a rattlesnake. Panic spreads from one soldier to the next. Dozens fall alongside the fence in a matter of minutes. In no time, the Federals are over the fence and chasing the enemy through the woods. 